All right. This is Caleb Kraft with Make. We are here at MakerCon, and we had a fantastic opportunity to talk with Sam Ortega from NASA. Now, I just got done listening to your talk, and you were explaining some really cool ways that people from the public can interface with NASA somehow. Would you mind telling us a bit about, about that? Absolutely. So what we have is prize competitions, and we're trying to advance technology that NASA needs to be able to do our future space explorations. And so we do that by saying to the general public, to makers, to hackers, to hobbyists, citizen inventors, we need this technology. We're going to give you this much prize money, whether we hold up one and a half million or two million or three million dollars, and say, if you can meet the goals of our competition and achieve them, then you, you win the prize money. So that's how we advance technologies from, the citizen, from citizens and citizen participatory science within the, uh, the advancement of space technology. So who can enter this? Like who can actually get involved with this? So actually anybody in the world can enter, but only U.S. citizens can win prize money. So it doesn't matter who you are. You might even be an artist uh, that has an idea for, solution, for solving some of our problems. Uh, in fact, we did an astronaut glove competition of which Ted Southern here entered in our competition. Ted, nice to have you here. Would you mind explaining real quick like, how you were involved and what you did for NASA? Sure, so uh, I started out making costumes and props. I actually still do that on the side. Uh, but I saw NASA's astronaut glove competition, which was part of their centennial challenges back in 2007 and 2009. I entered because of, I, I was very curious and fascinated by the technology. I actually won a prize in 2009, I won $100,000 from NASA and have gone on to start a business and contract with NASA making spacesuit parts and prototypes and even commercially outside in the, in the new space industry. So it's a That's great. great. Success story. Where are you located? Because we're here in New York and I know this is, this is close to home for you. So where are you guys located? So I've lived in New York for the last 14 years. Our business now operates out of the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Great, thank you. Now Matt, I understand you've got a hand in how this whole thing comes together. Would you mind explaining how you're, you're in this process? Yeah, a little bit. Um, so at NASA Ames Research Center in Silicon Valley, we actually developed a makerspace that allows the workforce to develop uh, the technology, but we're looking at engaging with makers through our, our making capabilities. Makers that can develop things like in-space propulsion systems and some of the other fantastic technologies that we need. So we have the Office of the Chief Technologist that, and other uh, groups within the agency that offer op opportunities for the entrepreneurial maker to actually engage and maybe make some money, commercialize our technology or selling their technology to us. That's great. How can people find more information about that aspect of things, connecting with you? Well, the easiest way to do it is actually to Google the NASA websites and look for Technology Transfer, Small Business Innovative Research Grant, NIAC, N-A-I-C, which is the NASA... Innovative Advanced Concepts? Yes, and other grant opportunities that the agency and the Space Act, <clears throat> the Space Grant agencies also offer. Perfect. And Sam, where can people find information about these contests? So it's www.nasa.gov slash win it. Great. Thank you guys very much for being here. We all love NASA and MAKE, and this is just amazing. Thank you very much. Thanks, Caleb.